The evolution of bears as we know them today began about 30 million years ago. The earliest known bear ancestor was Ursus minimus, a small bear that grew in size and diversity as it spread across Asia and Europe over time. Only three of these species live in North America. These are American black bears, Ursus americanus, brown bears, Ursus arctus, and polar bears, Ursus maritimus. There are many isolated populations of brown bears which have regional names. This map shows the overlapping geographic ranges of the three species of bears that inhabit North America. Bears are mammals and as such have 206 bones in their skeleton, the same as humans. The skulls of bears are massive, providing anchorage for the powerful masseter and temporal jaw muscles. Bears have relatively undeveloped carnassial teeth and the molar teeth are designed for crushing. The canine teeth are large but mostly used for display. The non-retractable claws of bears are used for digging, climbing, tearing, and catching prey. Those on the front feet are larger than those on the hind feet. The American black bear is the smallest and most widely distributed of the North American bears. They live in most of the U.S., all of Canada, and parts of Mexico. Black bears tend to be the most timid of the North American bears due to their smaller stature, but they are known to attack when provoked. Their lifespan in the wild is about 18 years, and they are omnivorous. North America is home to about 55,000 brown bears. Canada has about 25,000 bears, while the United States has about 30,000. Most of the U.S. brown bears live in Alaska, with a small population of about 1,500 in the lower 48 states of Montana, Idaho, Wyoming, and Washington. Polar bears live in the Arctic and surrounding areas. They are the largest land-based predator in the world and the only bear species that are marine mammals. They are currently classified as a vulnerable species and evolved from brown bears about 150,000 years ago. Seals are their primary source of food. It is unknown whether polar bears will be able to adapt over time to diminishing sea ice and warmer climates. Brown bears are thought to have evolved from ancestors in Asia about 800,000 years ago and spread into Europe and the New World. The species entered Alaska about 100,000 years ago, though they did not move south until 13,000 years ago. In North America, two subspecies are recognized, the coastal brown bear and the inland grizzly bear. Kodiak bears, a coastal bear subspecies, colonize the Alaska Peninsula. Brown bears have one of the largest brains of any carnivoran relative to their body size and have been shown to engage in tool use, which requires advanced cognitive abilities. Adult male bears are particularly aggressive and are rivaled in that regard by female bears with cubs. The mating season is from mid-May to early July. Males take no part in raising their cubs. The average litter size is one to three cubs. At birth, the cubs are blind, toothless, and hairless, and weigh about a pound. Cubs remain with their mother for an average of two and a half years. 
Brown bears are among the most omnivorous animals in the world, consuming the greatest variety of food of any bear. Despite their reputation, most brown bears are not highly carnivorous as they derive up to 90% of their food energy from vegetable matter. When foraging for plants, bears choose to eat them at the stage when they are the most nutritious and digestible. Knowing when plants are ripe for eating is a learned behavior. Bears of northern regions hibernate in the winter. During this period, the bear's metabolism slows down. Its body temperature decreases slightly and its heart rate slows from a normal rate of 55 to just 9 beats per minute. Bears normally do not wake during their hibernation and can go the entire duration without eating, drinking, urinating, or defecating. Female bears give birth during the hibernation period and are roused when doing so. Gestation typically lasts six to nine months. Bears have been popular subjects in art, literature, folklore, and mythology. The image of the mother bear was prevalent based on the female's devotion to and protection of her cubs. In many Native American cultures, the bear is a symbol of rebirth because of its hibernation and reemergence. The constellations of Ursa Major and Ursa Minor, the great and little bears, are named for their resemblance to bears from the time of Ptolemy. Bears are popular in children's stories and around the world children have teddy bears. Smokey the bear has become a part of American culture since its introduction in 1944. The International Association for Bear Research and Management and the Bear Specialist Group of the Species Survival Commission focus on the natural history, management, and conservation of bears. Bear Trust International works for wild bears and other wildlife.